Now listen to me now. Listen, listen to me now. I'm not one to distort things. And sticking to the facts may be the best policy for a police interrogation. But true life travel stories just beg for embellishment. Even them big name travel writers or spin doctors, they never miss a chance to pimp it up and hit it out of the park. What's the point in doing that? Well, if you get good at it, people bend over backwards to do your bidding hoping you'll make them look good in one of your titillating travel tales. You should be using pimped up exaggerations at every opportunity. Tell them how you charm that waiter, that desk clerk, that tour guide, or how you shut down that obnoxious blowhard at the captain's table. The more self-serving the story, the better. Modulate your voice if you have to. Whisper conspiratorially about that chance encounter, you know, the one that put a little sizzle into a boring old business trip? Who's the role model for this type of thinking? It's none other than the greatest travel writer ever lived. Good old Sammy Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain. He's the guy that said, travel is fatal to bigotry, prejudice, and narrow-mindedness. Now, if that ain't a pimped up bit of truth, I'm not William Shatner. People start hearing stuff like that and they begin feeling better about themselves. More often than not, it leads to a tidal wave of freebies and upgrades and free drinks and stuff like that from all these service people wanting to bask in the sunshine of your awesome presence. Why not whip up a few pearls of profundity of your own? Get your pea brain to thinking and your pie hole to flapping and lay a big old travel whopper on us. You can start right here in the comments section of this chipfinder.com website. Nothing less than a world of pimped up travel perks awaits you, Bubba. And that's the gospel truth. Yeah, baby. Yeah.